Morning boys and happy Sunday. Just enjoying a nice little walk with the fam. Well, a few of the kids. Um, one's back home at the house, but I got two of them with me. Here we go, pan over to little baby Presley and uh, the other kid. Now, yeah, I mean, I know what you're saying and I have been getting some weird looks from parents today. A lot of judging eyes, you know, like, uh, excuse me, sir, shouldn't you have a double stroller for your two children? And I'm like, you're right. I mean, I do love them both so much. Um, but no, the double stroller is a sucker's bet, and I don't need that, especially when these two just get along so well, play together so nicely, basically raised together. So no, I don't need the double stroller, parents. Spend your money elsewhere. All right, but more importantly, how are we going to get today going? Week four of Sunday Fun Day NFL kickoff today. What to do, what to discuss. All right, well, first major thing you'll notice is no Chiefs game today, and that's a problem for most of us because that means we can't just sit around watching football under the guise of being a good Chiefs fan. We would actually have to be uh, open and honest about how lazy we want to be watching fantasy football, and our wives aren't going to appreciate. So that's what today's topic is going to be about. How can we trick her into thinking that we just not want to watch football all day? All right, so typically in this situation, if this were a movie, you would essentially just have your wife get together with a gay best friend, they would go to the spa, blah, blah, blah. But our wives, for the most part, live in the Midwest. They don't have gay best friends. And on the other note, for some reason, they like spending time with us. It's kind of weird, but it's the punishment we all receive for being this damn charming. All right, so I'd like to open up the playbook. Plays one through three. Play one, the injury timeout. Now, You'll notice this is in a two minute drill when a team's down by a touchdown or something. They're driving down the field, they have no timeouts left, they complete a long bomb, 45 seconds left to go. What do they do? One of the players fakes an injury, gets the injury timeout, play clock stops, they have time to reset. That's what you're gonna do today. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna tell your wife, hey, babe, I wanna go get in shape. I wanna get fit, I wanna be back to the studly body that you once knew why you married me. So, go out there, 20 minutes, I don't care what you do, run, walk, whatever, but come back and you're hurt. You pulled the hammy, but you got to sell it. You got to let her know that, babe, I was making record time. I was at a seven and a half minute mile pace, blah, blah, blah. She's got to like you, respect it. And then she's got to feel bad for you. That's why you need the sympathy. Then you can sit on the house all day on, on the couch all day at the house, hanging out. She may even bring you some ice cream. So that's what we call the injury timeout. Number two, number two, what was number two? Oh yeah. The first round rookie quarterback. Now, any head coach and GM who drafts a rookie quarterback in the first round has bought three to four years of safety. They're basically handcuffed and tethered to their jobs and that quarterback for that period of time. That's what you're going to do today. You're going to find a reason that you can be handcuffed or tethered to the couch or the house all day instead of doing errands, chores, etc. Blah, blah, blah. My best course of action food, cooking, grilling, go get some meats, smoke them, do some slow barbecue burning, something that's going to make you monitor the food all day, or maybe even meal prep. Babe, hey, I want to go to the store. I want to get all this food. I want to be, you know, saving some money and I want to eat healthy. I want to prep all my meals for the week. I don't have to go out at lunch, blah, blah, blah. You look real good too. And you're basically glued to the house, watching some TV casually as you make cooking a priority or bake some cookies for your kids. That'd be fun. Number three, ah yes, the play action. We all know what this is. You do a running play to the left. Wait, no, he's rolling out to the right. He's throwing a pass deep down on the crossing route. Play action, simple enough. So what you're gonna do here is you're tricking the defense. You're gonna make them think it's all about them. Hey babe, wake up, I want this to be your day. You know, just no stress, but no kids, no wife stuff. Why don't you just go to your room, do your nails, have the DVR loaded up with uh, Gilmore Girls, Saws of Sunset whatever your poison is for your lady. So, the injury timeout, the first year quarterback, and the naked bootleg play action. Whichever you wanna do, those are at your disposal. Have some fun. Oh, quick fantasy note. Craig Cody has the entire Minnesota team on his roster. I think five starting players of Minnesota. So, you may be asking yourself, who plays Craig on the bye week? Well, that's week 10. And I know what you guys are thinking. Vogel, you make the schedule. This is bullshit. I already have collusion in my mind about you. And well, you know what? I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. That's just how life goes. No, it's not me. It's Matt Moore. He gets the easy win. It's not fair. Congrats, Matt, on the W. Let's have some fun today, boys.